Despite over a million Iraqis killed, the State Department says Iraq is better off because of the U.S. invasion. The department also talked about the efforts in combating ISIS as the Obama administration envisions it. Artiz Gayanichi Khan has more. Secretary of State John Kerry now says the Obama administration is willing to have military-to-military -military dialogue with Russia over plans to fight ISIL. That dialogue is something that Russia suggested. But U.S. officials have already said Russia's strategy that will include the Syrian army in the fight against ISIL is, quote-unquote, not a winning strategy, which, of course, begs the question about the U.S. strategy, how winning it has been. I went to ask the State Department. Here's what I got. Uh, we have made significant gains. Um, you know, I can quote back to you all of the stats that others have given over the last uh, couple of weeks as we reach this one year anniversary in this struggle. Um, but overall, I think we have seen gains on the ground. You mentioned gains. Well, since the beginning of bombings last year, ISIL grew in territory. In front of me, I have the map uh, of the territory that they control from September of last year and from this September. And it is considerably bigger. I can I can show you that the number of fighters as I understand, stayed about the same. Uh, does that sound like a result of a, does it sound like gains? Does it sound like a result of a winning strategy? Uh, again, um, we've seen, uh, certainly in Iraq, uh, you've seen uh, uh, ISIL lose ground in uh, at Mosul Dam, Dam rather, at Tikrit, uh, other places. Uh, they've been pushed back from areas around Kirkuk and Erbil. Well, in his response, the State Department spokesman did not really dispute the fact that overall ISIL gained more territory over this past year. What he also did not dispute was the fact that the Pentagon's training and arming of the Syrian rebels has failed so far. A Pentagon official was testifying in Congress just this morning, saying that there are now, quote-unquote, four or five U.S.-trained Syrian rebels on the battlefield to take on the Islamic State. Four or five. Here's what the State Department said about that. Department of Defense has been very candid uh, in uh, pointing out that this train and equip program uh, for the moderate Syrian opposition has not, uh, frankly, uh, uh, lived up to uh, what we initially thought. And you say that, it, that this train and equip program hasn't lived up to expectations. That's an understatement, isn't it? Uh, I'll I mean, when you first said you didn't challenge the assessment, are you uh, uh, talking about the assessment of Senator Ayat, who said that, that that's a joke? Or are you no, the, the total numbers of, of, of those uh, yeah. trained for the program. Well, going back to the overall U.S. strategy in the fight against ISIL, I asked this. Well, even U.S. officials say airstrikes alone are not going to do it. And about the U.S. trained force, well, how, how winning is that force if it's just not enough of them? Well, again, we're working uh, and across a broad spectrum. Matt brought that up. Uh, you know, the talking about the moderate Syrian uh, opposition forces that we're training. Uh, that train and equip program, let me finish. My train and equip program is, is, uh, has fallen short. Uh, the Pentagon has admitted that. Well, the question that Russia is asking, what is more important for the U.S. to defeat ISIL or not to deal with Assad? What the U.S. appears to be saying is, is that it wouldn't mind Russia fighting ISIL, but only if it doesn't help Assad. That becomes tricky, considering it is part of Russia's strategy to include the Syrian army in the fight.